Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We're here near the strip. We're not in the strip yet. We're in a place called Freeside. The old Mormon fort. We're going to see if we can't hook up with the Crimson Caravan. And see if we can't talk to a couple other traders, caravans, or whatever they call them. Let's go see what's out here. These guys live in a box, man. Alright, so where's the Crimson Caravan? They're this way. King's gang member, huh? Horus? Gambler? Gennaro. Okay. That's the door we came in, isn't it? What's this guy just selling stuff on the street? Looks like it. Hey, need some grub? I got you covered. Cheap and filling. Uh. Not right now, thanks. Probably not. I guess we need to go out this door. Leave those guys be for now. We'll be back. Besides the north gate. Where are these guys? Kings. Alright, I need to find... Where the hell is the Crimson? Caravan at? I guess this way somewhere. I kind of wonder where they got all these panels to make a fence with. I don't know what those are. I guess we got to go in here. Who's this guy? Hey. McLafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Alright. Who do I talk to? This guy running towards me, probably. Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. Bringo. How about that? So what's I'm next for you, dude? I'm caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way. So it'll be up to me to get things started. Good for you, dude. What are it's the rules? player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build oh. a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bit. It's why okay, you I'm not interested. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, huh? so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? No. No, 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 no. I don't have time right. right now, dude. Who's in charge here? Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. I'll see you around. All right, we gotta find her in the main office. Who's this? Morning. Crimson, where is the main office? They talk you. They say that like you know where that's at. Must be here. Main office. Here we go. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Hmm. Well, I'd like to know more about Certainly. you. What would you like to know? Oh, well. Have any competition? Uh, well, the gun sure. owners continue to dominate the weapons market. And the Mormon traders from New Canaan control the majority of the northern routes. The How long you been here? Caravan company has been in business for over 130 years. We're partially Whoa. responsible for the progress in the NCR. Hmm. Okay. You're well dressed Normally, for this place. I oversee company operations at the hub in California. However, the New Vegas branch has been underperforming in recent years. Given the conditions here, it's not hard to see why. 
I'll change all that soon enough. Uh, let's see. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? Got any work? I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Deliver this in to, to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. Uh, okay. All right, so that's that's all we got for her, eh? Ah, it's got side. So that was a quick and down and dirty little job, eh? This must be all be steel. Now we don't want to steal anything. That's just bad. All right. So where does this quest take us? Camp McCarran. I like fast travel there, it looks like. I was already there. They like me. Good to know. Um, what else is in here? What's this? Barracks? Can I sleep here? That's all I want to know. I can. Okay, cool, but I can't steal anything. What's that? Another... Whiskey. We don't want to steal whiskey. I could, but I don't want to. Uh, so the lockers are all steel. But I can sleep here. Okay, well, that's good to know. And that's steel, too. Oh, wait, it's a bathroom. Yeah, clean toilets. Nice. So, this other girl wanted me to talk to someone here about sending them supplies. And these are just like. McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. So, is there anybody. I guess she's. Unless there's somebody in there, let's go in there. I don't think so. She must be the one, but I gotta do stuff for them first, probably before. Who's this? Nope. Caravanners all wear dresses and cowboy hats, huh? Who's this? Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help you today? The Who are you? Hostum. Don Hostum. Can I help you with something? Um. Any work to be had here? Hiring isn't really my department. You should talk to Miss McLafferty about work for hire. Who did you say I should work? Like ask about work? Talk to Alice McLafferty. She's in charge here. Guess this guy's got nothing for me. Who are you? I already told you I'm Don Hoskins. <laughs> okay, so he's got nothing. Right, let's go this way. Who's this guy? I hear a troublesome legion camp got raised to the ground. Look, McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Okay, so nobody's going to talk to me really until I help him out. To the dumpster. Oh, car cigarettes. People throw out very good, you know, just completely good packages of cigarettes. Who's this guy? He looks good. Nope, caravaner. About this guy sitting over here. Is he a guard? I hear a troublesome legion camp got raised to the ground. This was just boarded up here. And they got their uh Brahmin? What is this? Another barracks?
Yeah, I can sleep anywhere in here too. Okay, so I can sleep anywhere here. That's nice to know. Anything in this bathroom I can steal? Hmm. Yep, there was some stuff I could steal. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go do our job. We can fast travel. This guy, he must be a guard. She? I hear a troublesome legion camp got raised to the Oh my ground. god. Is that all they got to say? That's their thing, huh? Alright, let's go. Let's go down here to these to these guys camp McLaren. Let's go there. Another See, that's a little weird about this game. I am outside. I'm not in a building. But I guess since I went through a load screen. I can't fast travel. Can I fast travel from here? I haven't? It says they like me. Okay, well, let's go here. Share Cropper Farms. Maybe that's what it said in there. I didn't even notice it. They like me, but hell. Never been there? Alright, where are we going? Here? Um, I'm afraid if I go through there, I'm going to be stuck inside of it somewhere. Hello. Oh, we can give it a shot. where I gotta go? How about that? I guess this is it, eh? Alright. Can't see anything in here. Um, uh, not sure. Sometimes these clues are a little weird. The GPS is a little weird. I'm guessing I'm going to be trapped in here. Because it's like one way in and one way out. Oh no, maybe not. They have a fence, but it doesn't do any good with this big hole in it, does it? Wait a minute, is this where I want to go? Is there a door here? What is this? Okay, it's not a door. Alright, let's go. I can never tell what the doors are to these fortresses. I guess that I want to get in here. Right here, right here, maybe. Camp McCarran, this is an NCR camp, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of walking around in this game. Do you locate everything? I mean, they make it. Uh, they make it. I have to admit, they make it a little difficult. All these big ass areas. Look at this big, huge ass area. The only way to get around it is to walk around it. You know? Okay, this is the NCR. I can't sleep anywhere at the NCR's places. I even know I'm an NCR guy, and they like me. Alright, let's go talk to these people over here. 
what am I talking about? Invoice. Right. They're gonna say, you know, fuck your invoice. light I get. Where am I going? This way, I guess. It's another casino. Looks like a casino. This guy? Hello. Not her. Upstairs? Must be upstairs. here so I don't know what's this way Go on through, soldier. Oh, this is out again I don't want to go out all right we got to go the other way I think through the concourse because there's nothing that way right you know just that door about here. So far, I don't like anybody that doesn't allow me to sleep or take their stuff. So, we gotta go this way, I guess. Okay, I'm a little lost. Okay, I just need some lights. Definitely a little lost. Alright, let's look at the local map. It says, go out the terminal building. Alright, let's go back to where we came in. This way. This guy's got all these guards inside of here. What do they got guards inside for? Now where do I go? Huh. Around the corner. Which I was over there, wasn't I? This way. Did I miss a door here somewhere? Here? No. Here? Maybe he's downstairs over on this side. This way? I'm not in here. This way? This guy. This must be the guy. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? Uh... Nope, this is the first time I've heard about Vault 22. No, they wouldn't have briefed you, would they? Probably better that our junior fellows stay within the bounds of their pay grade anyway. Vault 22. Where to begin? Hmm. Right. Yeah, what do you want me to do? Straight to the point. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlocked the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants <laughs> are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Um... 
Good. Sure. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your pip boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Sure will. I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your pip boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. All right, Best dude. Good luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem like a reasonably competent person. Um. So, who am I paying? I thought that was the guy I'm paying. No. It seems like it's him. Yes? Something else you needed? I have an invoice, okay. From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? No, I'm good. Yes. Goodbye. Alright, so now can I fast travel back to Alice? Did Dr. This girl. Hildern, this really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? Yeah. I shouldn't mm -hmm. say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildren sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Then about I'll a be back. ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? <laughs> nope, he didn't mention anyone else. Yeah, no, maybe. Wait. I don't mean to see any harm come to Dr. Hildern. Unless by talk, you just mean talk. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. Yeah, I'll look for her. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked of in. Of course you did. I mean it. Right. Good luck. Should I go back and ask this guy questions? Let's see what he says. Yes? Something else you needed? I'm not the first person you sent, am I? I said you were. You've been speaking to Williams, haven't you? <laughs> no. All right, I'll take you at your word. Williams didn't say anything at all. You just came to this conclusion on your own. No, yes. You aren't the first person I've sent to the vault. I'm sorry that I neglected to tell you, but I don't see how it makes any difference. How many others? I prefer to know what I'm getting myself into. You want certainty? You'll never find it. Especially not in the pursuit of science. Take my advice. Forget about Williams. She's a talented researcher, but she doesn't understand people, and she can't see the big picture. Now, I know your time is valuable, so I won't waste any more of it. Feel free to show yourself out. Ah, he's a dick. Alright, so how do we get out? What's this over here? This is all NCR, so I can't sleep here. Nah. Is this the way out? Is this is the way out. So we should be able to fast travel back. Yeah, let's see if there's a, let's see if there's a medical I haven't found anybody to sell stuff to yet. Maybe somebody. This looks like a good place to sell stuff. Here we go. Nope. Maybe this guy. Is he the sell guy? Nope. Okay. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Yeah, this looks like the medical guy. 
Yeah, triage. Haven't found anybody to sell stuff to, huh? That's all. The Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Yeah, you and everybody else. Man, they didn't do a lot with the dialogue in this, did they, in some cases? Should give these guys something else to talk about. Alright, I don't know who sells stuff in here either, but... What are these guys doing over here, hanging out? This guy looks important. I'm Lieutenant Gorobetz, First Recon. If you're looking to collect a bounty, you should talk to Major Daughtry. Tell me about First Recon. The finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a hmm. bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Some of my team aren't without their share of scars, though, like Betsy and Sterling. What's wrong with Betsy? Cook, Cook, one of the fiends, ambushed her and ten of spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. Betsy nice. shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate <laughs> for anyone at first recon to behave that way. I could discipline her, but I'd rather she get medical help. I can talk to Betsy about medical, give you medical help for her if trauma if you want. What happened Purple to Sterling? Sterling was an NCR ranger until he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. He wasn't able to be a ranger after that, but his eyes are still sharp, so I had him transferred to first recon. I can talk to Betsy about getting medical help for her trauma if you want. I'd appreciate it. As her CO, I could order her to get help, but I'd have her agree with the idea. Um, first recon. Does the NCR use the awful bounties on people? To kill, yes. Whatever it takes to get the job done, even if it means hiring help from outside the military. Hmm. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole. Okay, you already told me that. Get Goodbye. Right. Okay, so where is the other girl? Is this her? Corporal Betsy. Let me put on my little uh. Talk to you outfit. See if that works. Yeah. Betsy girl, how's it going? I've seen you around before. What do you want? Uh, see any combat Not here? Unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobetz keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me. I just shoot bad guys. Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. Uh, let's see. Fiends aren't enough of a challenge for you. And they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often, <laughs> but sometimes. First I've heard about conscience in a while. Killed so many people, I don't yeah, even think about well, it. Yeah, we can't all be heartless shitheads, right? <laughs> Uh, you're a sniper. What gave me away? The big gun, the shades, or the attitude? The big gun. Yup, a lot of people make that connection. Big gun, sniper. Some people don't even need to ask. How about a date? I like to talk yeah, women. Yeah, right. You're sniffing up the wrong skirt. Try me again when you're tall, blonde, and female. <laughs> you should get some medical Lieutenant help for your trauma. To you, hasn't he? Look, I don't need a head doctor. I'm first recon, damn it. You don't see the others crying about every little bruise and scrape, do you? We can get this one. Oh, I can't get either one of them. Damn it. Just get help. People are worried about you. Just get the help. You'll feel better. Uh, People ought to mind their own business. Yeah. All right, goodbye. Try not to get killed. Hmm. 
Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. Nelson's... Howdy. Name's Sterling. First recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. Nope. Do you remember everyone that passes through here? Oh, we never met. memory for faces. Landmarks and such, too. Comes with practice, that's all. And a lot of scouting from place to place. Any ideas how to convince Corporal Betsy to go see a doctor? It's a pride thing with her, and totally unnecessary. I mean, look at me. I was Ranger Sterling until the Legion got through with me. I was bitter, but if I kept my mouth shut, the NCR would have discharged me and sent me home. Instead, I asked if there was still a place for me. I had to prove I could still handle a gun alongside all the recruits. Look at me now. First recon, and still going strong. You tell Betsy that. Interesting rifle you have there. I call her the Long Carabine. Didn't always have the scope. I added that myself. Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers used bolt action, but Gore Betts reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different, so long as I could hit my targets. Hmm. How long have you been Going stationed here? Six months now, but I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. Whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork. But I still bet a few caps he's stirring up the locals against us. You always been with first recon? One of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas mm. always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Well, Why'd you leave? That wasn't really a matter of choice. Got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpay. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't going to be trekking across the waist on any more long scouts either. How'd you manage to escape? Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple of rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. Huh. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. All right, so we talk to that guy. Talk to her again. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Nope. Try not to get killed. All right, who's this guy? Back in our hands. I'm Bitter Root, First Recon. You got a reason to talk to me? Mm, you have an unusual name. Not too friendly, are you? It's not. I don't mean nothing by it. You really want to talk to somebody, try Ten of Spades. He's always got plenty to say. Me? I'm here to do my job. For now, that job is shooting fiends. Hmm. We're gonna get some work around here. Work? Well, then I guess you want to talk to my... Uh, father. Major Daughtry. He's our CO. Your father is a commanding yeah, officer? Is that allowed? He's not my real father. He just looked after me for a while. It's a long story. And I'd get tired of talking before it was through. <clears throat> Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye. We can defend it this time. S -s -s so the commander. That was this guy? Was that the commander? No, that's lieutenant. So where's the commander? So we can get all this stuff lined up before we head out again. So is there a tent with the commander? What is going on here? Okay, too many named NPCs here. Where would the command tent be? Let's see if they've got a thing on the little map here. What's this? Terminal building, terminal building. 
wasteland. I don't think... Let's look over here. Shooting range. Commander McCarran. That's who we're looking for. I probably already talked to him, didn't even know it. Guys, just hanging out in there. I don't think the commander is in the building. Could be wrong about that. You'd think he's in the building. Let's go look again. When it's dark ass in here, I can't see nothing. Here. Something I can do for you? Colonel James Hisu. Let's talk to the Colonel. We're all impressed with the work you've done for us. Thought you might be able to make use of this. It's a key to a little hideaway south of here. We've used it as a place for rangers to rest and resupply. I thought you might get good use out of it. It's your safe house key. Interesting. I'm here to provide support. Is there anything I might be able to help with? I'm up for hire if you need more extra manpower. There are a lot of things That's I good. can't spare troops for right now. If you can help us, we can definitely pay you for your work. Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Vault legions three. reading down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. The fiends. Uh, I can't make them talk, I'm pretty sure of that. As in chem fiends. Biggest gang of raiders I've ever seen. Nothing like addiction to swell your numbers. Psychotic and completely unpredictable. They set up shop hmm. in Vault 3 to the west. Every day they attack our positions and my men repel them. But every day there's more of them and less of us. I sent one of my rangers after their leader to try and destabilize them. He didn't return. Hell of a thing, losing a ranger. You come to depend on them, and they come through for you so often, you forget it can happen. I can go to Vault 3 see if I can find a ranger. Is a hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. But if you can get him home, it'd mean a lot. Watch for civilians, too. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. They just walk right into people's homes in the middle of the day and take them. But the man you're looking for is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader, Motor Runner. You hear something like a chainsaw, you found Motor hmm. Runner. Put a bullet in his head, and you'll have some new friends around here. All right, any yeah. other problems? On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. You seem calm given that things are as bad as they are. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. Alright. Uh, I can't make him talk. I'm pretty sure of that. Let's not look into that. Let's see, I can, uh, what's Camp McCarran's role in the NCR operations? That's a lot of questions. I know I can't make the guy talk. Let's just get out of here. Bye. Okay, so there's that guy who's over here. Okay, that's the little doctor or whatever she is. It's a dead end here. I'm guessing there's just not, I don't know what the commander was. Well, I forgot what his name was already. Down at this end. Oh, here's another place. There's more offices down here. Like bathrooms, huh? 
That door is inaccessible. Bathroom door opens out. That's interesting. That sounds like a train. Interesting. What do we got down here? Let's look. Eh, nothing I really need to take. I need the health supplies, that's what I need. Alright, let's go up these stairs. What's this door? Hmm, who's this guy? What is it? Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. What do you do here? I'm in charge of Bravo Company. But since General Oliver has Bravo and most of our forces here garrisoned, I'm free to do other things. So I work with Colonel Shu on logistics, patrols, supply lines, reinforcements, that sort of thing. Lately, it's been less about that and more about figuring out how that information is getting leaked to raiders. It's a big base with a lot of unhappy soldiers. They get stir crazy. Hard to separate the malcontents from the actual culprit. Hmm. <laughs> okay, good luck Later. with that. All right, let's go. Let's go turn this other mission in. Cause there's just not much happening here. I was gonna go up here, wasn't I? Ah, let's go up here real quick. Who's up here? Boyd's in there with a the prisoner right now. Boy, is she easy. Boyd. Okay, so they have a, a jail. That's locked very hard. Well, let's go see what's happening with the prisoner thing on the other side. To carry you stick out like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Who are you? Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Need any help? Yeah. So far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's legion recently. Uh, is that a big deal? Everybody, everybody in Caesar's legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up. Even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. So, what do you well, think it I means? I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. Uh, why don't you just beat his ass? I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. So, you want me to do what I... You want me to do what you can't? I think if you rough him up enough and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We've been okay, let's do this, why not? Times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. That's the I... spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in.
Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about that. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking There's a glass there? That's interesting. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top, bottom. You know why? It's all the rage in the fashion circles. Not <laughs> quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to it. Let's get to it. Come on. I'm ready. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. What? <laughs> what an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? Hmm. You're nothing. You're some inept mercenary the NCR is paying to supplement its own incompetent soldiers. Hmm, how naive. Hmm, let's see. We are both slaves to Caesar's Law and you are in violation. Uh, what's a good one? No, listen. Kaisar's secrets are safe with me. I stayed alive because Kaisar would have wanted it. I'm useless to him dead. You're a danger to him alive. Your knowledge threatens him. You must have screwed up to be caught by the NCR. You must have some reason to be in your line of work. Tell me, what did the Legion do to you? Did we enslave your children? Slaughter your family before your eyes to teach you a lesson. Whatever it was, I hope I was there to give the order. Uh, you must be. You must miss giving orders now that your men are all dead. Foot soldiers of the Legion are trained not to have to think for themselves, to have conflict removed from their minds. They kill themselves to evade capture because they are not trusted to make such a decision rationally in the heat of battle. But I'm no foot soldier. I knew I could escape captivity on my own without revealing the tiniest iota of information to my captors. Hmm. Sounds to me like you're too gutless to follow Kaiser's orders. Kaisers, they call them, huh? I'll show you gutless, you sniveling bastard. I'll spill your guts all over this room. Why don't you step outside a minute? Let off some steam. Nice job. I think my friend doesn't like you, Silus. I don't know how much longer I can keep him under control. You think this will make me talk? A beating? This is the best you can do? Not just any beating, Silus. A savage beating. A beating that you'll be reminded of every time you feel pain from now on. When my friend's done with you, you won't have any of your teeth left. You'll be drinking your food through a straw. 
Your ribs will never heal properly, and it will hurt every time you breathe. It'll be like your collars, Silus. Impossible to forget. Go to hell. Huh. Not the sort of wit I've come to expect from you, Silus. You're getting nothing from me. I'm getting entertainment. That's something. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna spill your guts to me? Or am I gonna let my friend the maniac back in here for some playtime? Silus. Silent treatment, huh? Have it your way. Come on back in. I think he misses you. Oh, and let me check you for weapons one more time. For your sake, all right. as well as his. Take all my weapons. Where is he? Had enough. Ah! Ah! Get up. Enough, come on, dude. No, all right. Now, when we keep beating on him, had enough. Enough, this is pointless. I'm dead to the Legion either way, I'll tell you what I know. Mm -hmm. But you should know that Kaisar has always kept his own counsel. He never reveals anything that would make him vulnerable. My knowledge will not prevent the inevitable. This camp will be ash within months. Maybe weeks. Well, maybe we'll just be somewhere. Like, but it won't make my information any more useful. You can take what I have or leave it. Something's wrong with Kaisar. Something he is attempting to hide from his men. But it was obvious before we set out on this last mission. For three days we awaited his order to dispatch us. Three days. But he hid in his tent, refusing to give orders, complaining of headaches. He looks different now <clears throat> than he used to. His face is sunken, sickly, without any questioning of his health enrages him. There is one other thing that may interest you. I know that Kaisar has planted a spy here. Every night, details of NCR troop movements are broadcast from a radio on this base to Kaisar's camp. The spy has been here a long time, since before the entire conflict began. He's an officer. If I knew who he was, I would tell you. If I escape and he's alive to report it, the Legion would hunt me down. But like I said, none of this information will change the outcome for you. No force can hold back the tide of the Legion. Give me all my stuff back.
That was fun to watch. I'd have you do it again, but I'd probably get in trouble. This will do the NCR a lot of good, so you should be proud. Here's the standard fee. Plus, I threw in the price of a good show on the strip. That's from me personally. You can beat up my prisoners anytime. Huh. Yep, see you around. Oh man, all my weapons are they're not mapped anymore now. Son of a bitch. Crap. How am I supposed to remember where the hell I had them all? Shotgun over here. Salt carbine. Here. Uh the cowboy repeater. Um, I think the cowboy repeater should be where the shotgun is. Let's put it over there. And then we'll put the shotgun here. Okay, and then the assault carbine, we've got that. The 10 mil will stick up here. Oh, that's grenades. Alright. Let's get out of here. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. Yeah, I hope so too. I'm not going back there. Help you guys out. Oh, we gotta go turn this other. Let's go turn in this other mission. Uh, this one. Where's she at? I have to get out of here first. I can't just go turn it in. Let's see. Return to Alice McCaffrey. I gotta go outside first. Ugh. I said too much walking around in this game. They would make these areas so big it'd be alright, but the areas are too big. But look at the size of this. This is huge. This is nuts. And I should be able to fast travel out of here. Why can't I fast travel out of here? Where's she at? She's over... Here, let me see if I can just fast travel here. I do. Okay. Oh, but it didn't... It didn't put me inside, just at the front gate, okay. I hear a troublesome legion camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard right. Let's see. Apparently nobody sleeps here. What time is it? Yeah, it's like 1.30 in the morning. That's alright. It's good for me if nobody's sleeping. Ah, crap. She's sleeping. Ah, so I gotta go to sleep. McLaughlin's been riding asses again. Better lay low. There she is. Nope, that ain't her. Alright, let's just find a place to sleep. Wait, there was something right here? Here's a spot. I grabbed this one. Alright, let's go till like... 8 o'clock. That'll be working. Sorry for the long video. We just got caught up in all that dialogue. This will be a pretty long video. Nelson will serve as example. We'll bleed the ground red with anyone who opposes our peace efforts. Does she have a pit boy? What's she got? Is that a weapon? I don't know what that is on her. I guess. Hey, girl, Welcome come here. Back. I delivered your invoice as you asked. Reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? Sure. As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. 
His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Hmm, doesn't sound like something I need to do. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave Outpost. And Henry Jamison. The Jamisons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes, and because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. And a gunrunner job. The quality of the gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Was there something else? I don't think so. You'll have to find someone else for that job. Uh, nope, I think we're good. It's Goodbye. Good Alright, so. That was a long video. We did a lot of stuff, though. So, let's call it a video right here, and when we come back, we got a lot of stuff to do now, don't we? Uh, return to Cass and see if you can get her to part with the title for Cassie Caravans. Okay. I don't hurt anymore. Speak with the Ten of Spades. Okay. There stands the grass. Okay. And then find Benny at the Tops Casino. So we got a bunch of stuff to do. We're going to do it all. We're going to just do it all. So, hope you're having fun. I am. This is a pretty interesting game. Lots of dialogue, which I heard that about this game. Lots of dialogue. So, if you're watching, thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here.